Uh, Coach, can you just bring us up to speed on the roster and lineup tonight? Uh, well, uh, Andy's in nets. Uh, we're going to have to see after warm up is Carl if Carlson's in. Burroughs is out, so Carlson lower body. Uh, Burroughs upper body. Uh, so if Carlson's not in, Yoki's in. Uh, and Stahlberg's back. Okay. Just to clarify, Burroughs is out tonight? Yes, Definitely. yes. Okay, yes. with yes. upper body. Upper body, yeah. Okay. Uh, is the... Uh, fact that Eric went out for a two-minute twirl uh, at the end of the morning skate uh, encouraging? I don't know. <laughs> I, have to, I have to go back and see, but they've told me that it is really going to be a game-time decision. Okay. How, how so much? If he, if he doesn't play... You'll keep up. No, I know, but how does that change things for... We play the same way. We're not going to start coming up with new ways to play because Eric's not there. I think we've had good players miss all year, and we were able to pull through, so we're going to have to pull through that one. Is there concern, if you look at your record of late, of how you're playing, or do you look at it differently than the other wins well, in the last Well, it depends how you look at it. If you look, this is our last game of the month of March. And if you look at the month of March, you take out the three Montreal games where we were 0, 2, and 1. We're uh, 8, 1, and 2. <laughs> so, uh, and you know, we all know the last game, we could have won that game definitely. So it would be 9, 1, and 1, you know, if we don't count the Montreal games. So I don't think we're going to change anything. Um, you know, Montreal uh, did a good job against us, and we didn't do enough to beat them. But I think uh, we've proven that uh, against everybody else, we've done a really good job. And the one game, the only game that we lost in regulation is against Chicago, and that one we played really well. And you know, that penalty hurt us at the end there. So I think as a group, we got to definitely stick to what we do, stay confident in what we do, and uh, and just make sure that we uh, uh, we execute uh, you know the habits that were uh, that have given us success. Uh, Stalberg's back? Yes. Uh, what is the update on, I know you said upper body for Burroughs, do you expect him possibly day to Winnipeg? Day. day to day, yeah. Day to day, he could be there in Winnipeg. Any news from home on uh, Clark McCarthy? Uh, apparently, yes, but to tell you exactly what it is, I'm uh, like, I, right now for me, it's, it's, uh, it's all about the guys that are here, so yep. I let everybody else manage what they need to manage, and that's, that's above me right now at another level. Um, you know, and you're going to ask me maybe about Colin White and all that. No, Mark no, Mathard, no, certainly. No, no clue about White because it's not, it's that's Pierre's thing uh, right now. Uh, and uh, Mathot, same thing. I don't know where all that is. It's, 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 okay. those things are one out of my reach and two, I, it's not that I don't care. It's just right now I need to focus on who's playing today and uh, who's available today. How important is it to get a first goal against a team like Minnesota tonight that is as appears to be as desperate as they are. Well, we've had a terrific record all year when we when we get the first goal, but we won many, many games where we don't score the first goal. So for me, it's it's more about the 16-minute consistency than it is about the first goal. Did, um, what do you think it meant to your team to stop by and see Jonathan Petrie yesterday? I think, you know, we've, we've been a team that um, showed a lot of caring since the beginning of the year uh, inside the room, amongst the organization. And I think yesterday is just another example that you know the organization, players included, are, have uh, have gone out of their way to, to care outside of of of, uh, of ourselves. And I think that's uh, one of the trademarks of, of the Sens, and it's been like that for many years, way before I got here. Uh, and I'm just part of it now, and I think it's a terrific thing that um, um, you know we're able to reach out and. Um, you know, put a little light in, in somebody uh, that's uh, um, that has gone through so much, and uh, I think it's an inspiration for everybody. Uh, whether it's it's him or his mom, you know, to see his mom there, uh, uh, you know, as a parent, um, yeah, it's 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 emotional. I'll be honest with you, and uh, we definitely um, look at that and, and feel that we're lucky ourselves to not have to deal with that. But at the same time, it gives us the opportunity to be really inspired by people who have to live that every day and smile like that. I mean, that's what impressed me the most, how happy the kid was, how happy the mom was, and how optimistic and, um, and positive these people can be in those circumstances. And I think you can't help but being uh, moved and inspired by that.